Hey guys, this is Nick from Defaced Games. We're back with the final monthly list of 2020 featuring the best Android games for December 2020. All these games are available in the Play Store and links are given in the description below. Not in any particular order, let's start with our first game. Shadow Fight Arena it's a free-to-play multiplayer fighting game. Unlike the previous games, Shadow Fight Arena has abandoned the fighting silhouettes in favor of high-quality character models. The game background is just as pretty, whether it's Mist Cover Mountains or a bamboo forest, they all look gorgeous. The fighters' animations are fluid and very smooth. The game does not have long combos or too many high damage special moves. Instead, you have a simple moveset, and success revolves around timing and practice, and any attack can be avoided or blocked. You can attack with your weapon and kick, each of these moves being modified when combined with the direction buttons. There are also ranged attacks using bows, and you have a special attack that can be used once a meter fills. It is a good game that would have been even better if it weren't loaded with microtransactions. Next, Bridge Constructor – The Walking Dead The game combines the challenging puzzle gameplay of Bridge Constructor with the post-apocalyptic zombie universe of AMC's The Walking Dead. Here you can join a group of survivors as they fight against hordes of undead walkers and a hostile human community. You build bridges and other constructions through bleak landscapes and ruined structures to create safe passage for iconic vehicles from the series. You can use movable level objects, explosives, and baits to your advantage to lure zombies into lethal traps and guide your survivors to safety. There are characters from The Walking Dead that have skills, and there are lots of little extra puzzles. The game has physics-based frenzy and ragdoll animations, which are always fun to watch. Next on the list, eFootball PES 2021. PES is a football simulation video game, and PES 2021 brings in the updated teams, players, and manager data set as of September 2020 to the mobile game with visual enhancements, new music, and more. You can now play with licensed clubs from the upper echelons of European football, including FC Barcelona, Manchester United, Juventus, FC Bayern München, as well as new exclusive partner AS Roma. There are both local and online multiplayer modes where you can face off against your friends and other online players. One new addition to the game is the iconic moment series that lets you relieve key moments from current and former players. In terms of gameplay and controls, PES 2021 controls same as the previous game. Moving on to MO, Astray. It's a side-scrolling action puzzle platformer game with beautiful pixel graphics. In-game, you can expect puzzles and boss fights, plus the story is pretty good. You can use MO's ability to stick on surfaces to get past tricky traps, read the minds of monsters, control them like a parasite, and dash past dangers. The background music and sound effects for each quest fit perfectly with each environment. As you progress, new abilities can be gained, like double jump or speed dash. The game is refined, so well-crafted and gory for something with such a deceptively simple presentation, and has a difficulty pitch that always feels challenging. The game also supports controller, but as of now, there are issues with using it. Next, King of Worlds. It is a 3D MMORPG game with nice graphics and a classic gameplay. You can build your character freely and choose from 6 races and 30 advanced classes to start the game. There are dozens of epic dungeons, various bosses, legendary weapons, abundant loots, and much more to explore. The core gameplay feels a lot like World of Warcraft, except with autoplay elements. The gameplay loop revolves around completing daily tasks. You can make teams using different characters, such as tanks, healers, DPS, to carry out your duties. The game also has PvP mode, where you can call up your teammates to build a squad and start a duel anytime, anywhere. You can join guilds, and there are guild battles featuring more than 100 players at once. Next on the list, The First Tree. It is a third-person adventure exploration game centered around two parallel stories, a fox trying to find her missing family and a son reconnecting with his estranged father in Alaska. The game has an inanimate emotional story with unforgettable narrative beats and a good ending. Players take control of the fox on this journey to uncover artifacts and stories from the son's life as he becomes intertwined in the fox's journey towards the first tree. The game has a short story of about two hours with some light puzzle-solving platforming and there are no enemies. It is a title best suited for gamers who enjoy peaceful, poignant adventures like Firewatch or Journey. Moving on to Samaras 2. 
It is a point-and-click puzzle adventure game where your mission is to save your dog kidnapped by aliens. The player interacts with the world, directing a small, white-clad humanoid with a little cap and brown boots called simply Gnome. The goal of the game is to solve a series of puzzles and brain teasers. The puzzles are sequentially linked, forming an adventure story. The game contains no inventory or dialogue, and the solving of the puzzles mainly consists of clicking on screen elements in the correct order. Solving a puzzle will immediately transport the player character to the next screen. The game features surrealistic organic scenarios that mix natural and technological concepts, creative character design, and a unique musical atmosphere. Next, Fruit Ninja 2. After 10 years, Half Brick Studios is back with a sequel to their popular fruit cutting game, Fruit Ninja. The game is packed with more fruit slicing than ever. Along with the original modes like Arcade, Zen, or Classic, the game has introduced new game modes such as Minigame Shuffle, Rhythm Slicing Mode, and Fruitar Hero. You can also jump into real-time multiplayer modes with players from all across the world to slice your way to be a Fruit Ninja champion. There are new characters, character skins, and taunt packs, which can be unlocked with completing objectives or in-app purchases. There are also new locations and arenas with their own visuals and soundtrack. Next on the list, The Bonfire 2 – Uncharted Shores it is a survival simulation game where players are tasked with helping a stranded crew survive on a mysterious island after their ships are destroyed out at sea. In-game, you can harvest resources, craft buildings, and slowly piece together a bustling town. The game merges the dread felt while playing survival games with the addictive quality of city building simulators and pulls it all together with a cartoonish look that makes you feel personally responsible for everything that befalls your tiny villagers. You can also explore a procedurally generated world map with ships to find free cities to trade and mysterious dungeons to explore. You can play the game for free for only 10 in-game days. In order to complete the game, a full version is required and can be unlocked through an in-app purchase. And last but not least, A3, Still Alive. It is an open-world RPG with a fully integrated Battle Royale mode on mobile, and it tasks players with saving the world from a cultist plot set to destroy everything. The game also offers various competitive PvP battle modes that players can enjoy solo or with a group. There are different environments where you can play the game such as snow fields, deserts, and forests. In-game, you can choose from five different classes with unique playstyles. You can also team up with AI characters known as Soul Linkers. There are over 270 different Soul Linkers sorted into three types. Attack, Defense, and Support. In Battle Royale mode, you can battle for survival, where 30 players fight under the same conditions. And with this, we end our final list of this year. But make sure you subscribe, because we're going to share the best games of this year next week. And if you did enjoy this video, do let us know in the comments below. See you later.